Okay. Hello. 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 Wow. It has been a very long, long time, and you can hear my Long Island accent just from that since our last video. I missed all of you baseballers very, very much. I literally cried myself to sleep every single night, and that is how much I miss you guys. No, no, no. I am just playing. Well, besides the crying part, that was absolutely true, but it has certainly been a long, long time. I even grew some hair. Well, not on my head, but on my face. Anyways, enough of that. This is MLB update number eight. I am Nick, your lovely voice and host of Dinger Bros Media. If you are new to the Dinger Bros content, hit the subscribe and like button below. Alrighty, let's get it started. FBI, open up! If you missed anything during the MLB 2022 season, you are in luck because your boy Nick is going to give you a little blast from the past and show you all the good stuff and bad stuff, depending on what fan you are of what happened. So. Here we go. A swing, and there it goes! Left field! Slide off a big, you've got some company. Aí o abatazo, profundo por a esquerda! Olvídala! The Houston Astros were crowned MLB World Series champs. They defeated the Philadelphia Phillies 4-2. Everything else seemed pretty predictable, though. The Yankees beat the Guardians in the ALDS by a hair, but were schmacked by the Astros in the ALCS. No shocker there. But a huge surprise and upset was when the almighty Dodgers lost to the Padres in the NLDS 3 to 1. And as the playoffs rolled on, so did the Phillies, winning two big battles against the Braves and Padres. But although the Phillies surprised millions, including me, of baseball fans around the world, they still were not ready to tackle the Astros. Alrighty, I hope you enjoyed our little blast from the past, but now we're back and it is time to talk about 2023. Okay, we're gonna start off with the biggest trades and we're going to start off with the short stops. And these guys are not short by any means. All right, very funny joke, insert laugh track. Carlos Correa is going to the Giants. Nope, that's not the Mets, no. That's also not the Twins. The Twins, sorry about that. For six years and $200 million, just a little smaller than my net worth, plus four years and $70 million in vesting clauses, whatever that means. He almost got on board with the Giants and Mets, but his failing physicals gave him a big no. The Cubbies, or also known as the Cubs, signed shortstop Dansby Swanson. Great hair, by the way, seriously, great flow. For seven years and $177 million. Zan <clears throat> Xander Bogarts, and if I said it the way it was spelled, Xander would be fine, but it would be Xander Bogaerts. And he is going to the Padres for 11 years and $280 million. And the Philly Cheesesteak Phillies signed Trey Turner. Wow, that's a quick turnaround. Insert laugh track. For 11 years and $300 million. And the Yankees kept Aaron Judge, not a Aaron Judge, for nine years and $360 million. Once again, a lot of money 
still less than my net worth. But the Giants had him for a few seconds, but that was about it. So we can definitely say that was a giant fail. And the Yankees are keeping their judge. So with that, I say, order. Now it is time for the arms. And I like talking about pitchers because my velo in middle school was 98. And that was flat ground. And yes, that is true. Anyways, time for the Mets. Let's talk about the Mets. First of all, wow. The Mets were a different breed when it came to the trades. But... I want to talk about the pitching rotation, and right now for the Mets, it is David Peterson slash Tyler McGill, Jose Quintana, Cody Senga, Max Scherzer, and Justin Verlander. Now, between Quintana, Senga, and Verlander, the Mets spent $187 million, and yes, that is more than my net worth, okay? They can have that. But Verlander and Scherzer are back together after they were with the Detroit Tigers to kick off their careers. Met fans are through the roof after these trades. Well, they are coping now after the loss of DeGrom to the Rangers, who clearly chased the bag of $185 million. But this is without mentioning the all-star reliever from the Phillies, David Robertson. These are big names, new, young, and old, but we will see how these stud muffins toss it up in 2023. Alrighty, and here are the honorary chuckers. We have Carlos Rodon, who signed with the Yankees for six years and $162 million. And the Red Sox signed Kenley Jansen, for two years and $32 million. Moving on from the insane, nuts, crazy, whatever you want to call it, trades, let us discuss new rules for MLB. So, originally the bases were 15 inches length and width, and now they are 18 inches. All right, fair enough, you get more room on the bases, safer. Right? It's like if we made roads a little bit wider, better for the cars, less accidents. That's not true. Okay, don't fact check me on that. Moving on. And the shift is banned. Wow. So I guess we're going to be telling people, no, you can't stand there. You can't stand there. But what if they're a little bit on the line? What are we going to do? Are we going to fire them, put them in jail? I sure hope not. And finally, lastly, the grand finale. Let's do two quick headlines. The M-I-L-B, not the M-L-B, is introducing robot umpires in 2023. It's just like San Francisco, where they're actually introducing robot law enforcement. I don't know how that's really going to work out, but we will see. I guess, ball, strike. But what if it just crashes? What if, what if you put a robot behind there, you get a 95, 100 mana fastball, right at the dome system crashes <gasps> bad i guess we gotta call dell services for that one and mlb is going back to london for the first time since 2019. the cubbies will battle it out with the cards and with that i say we oui, we oui, baguette Bray. I'm actually full on French. I'm kidding. That's a lie. This is sadly the end of this update. I know, I know you missed seeing my beautiful hairline, my beautiful face, and my wonderful inflections, but thank you for tuning in, folks. We truly appreciate it. But please feel free to like, subscribe, and comment on whatever you like. Dinger Bros is always here. We are your personal baseball therapists, and that's a fact. I'm Nick, and I will see you guys soon for another MLB update. Remember, keep your eye on the ball and your love for the game. Peace out, Girl Scouts.